What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John. Today we'll be talking about the net present value, arguably the most important criteria in any capital budgeting decision. We'll talk about what it is, why it matters so much, and then I'll show you guys how to calculate it. All right, so let's go. The net present value tells us the current value of any capital investment. Now, this could be uh, buying a building, it could be buying a, a car, it could even be, uh, you know, just buying stocks, buying bonds. It essentially tells you how much money you're going to make on that investment. An investment with a positive net present value is a profitable investment. You are going to make money. If the net present value is zero, it means you're just breaking even. And a negative net present value means that you would incur a net loss by investing. Those are the investments you'd want to avoid. The net present value of an investment is based on three things. The initial investment, any inflows of cash generated by that investment, and the investor's cost of capital. Now, if you don't know what the cost of capital is, make sure you catch my video on that where I break it down. Now, basically, the net present value is the difference between the present value of your inflows, right, what you're receiving, and the present value of your outflows, what you spent. In plain English, it's your profit. Now, the net present value is inversely related to the investor's cost of capital. And what that means is as the cost of capital increases, the net present value decreases. So let's say you purchase an asset today for $150,000 and use that asset to generate $50,000 of revenue for the next four years. Now, you might be thinking that you're earning a $50,000 profit, but in reality, you aren't because of the time value of money. You see, the $50,000 you're receiving each year is actually worth less today if we consider your cost of capital. Let's call that 10%. The net present value is the difference between the present value of your inflows and your initial investment. In this case, the $50,000 per year for four years is actually only worth $158,493.27 today. So while you're earning a positive net present value, it's a lot lower than we initially thought. This investment has a net value of $8,493.27. Now you see why it's so important to consider the net present value and not just the dollars in versus dollars out. In that example, we earned $50,000 more cash than we spent, but actually we really only made just under $9,000. So that's it for the net present value. I really hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments, hit the like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button and head on over to this video on the internal rate of return to keep learning about capital budgeting. Peace.